first on KXLY4 tonight. Explosives set off near a 100-year-old Spokane church. Homes in north central Spokane were shaking when someone set off the explosives at St. Anthony's Church near Cedar and Montgomery. KXLY4's Eric Loney is live there tonight. Eric, when did this happen? Well, it happened just before midnight last night, and the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force has looked into it. This device was set off in a sterile here on the west side of St. Anthony's, and the FBI is telling us right now that there appears to be no connection to any sort of domestic terrorism. Now, Spokane police and fire departments are investigating it. Really, only damage is some blackened co uh, concrete. Fire officials declined to describe what the device looked like, but did say it was larger than a person's fist and strong enough to send debris clear across the street. We spoke to a neighbor who told us he felt the explosion in his house. As I heard this really loud rumbling explosion from the house, I mean, it shook my whole room and stuff. I heard, you know, glass shaking, and I walked out here, ran out as fast as I could, and I saw a flame coming out of that, that little shed kind of at the door right there by the church. It was, flames were shooting out for at least like three to four seconds. Fire officials say the device ended up burning itself out, and they've sent what's left of the device to the Washington State Patrol Crime Lab. They're also investigating if there's possible more devices. Neighbors heard one or two more explosions just minutes after this one. Right now, there have been no reports to the police department, but they're trying to see if and where these other explosions may have happened. Reporting live, Eric Looney, KXOY4.